And this right here is why I don't agree with that phrase, hurt people, hurt people, hurt people. Let me introduce you to, uh, to Dean. I don't believe y'all have met before. Uh, we have a seat right here. It's all right, you can have a seat right here. Dean, let me introduce you to Loretta, and this is her husband as well, Monty, and I'm uh, very happy to say that y'all haven't really uh, met before, but, but here you are. So, Loretta, tell me what you're thinking and feeling right now. I'm scared. To see his face again is scary. You, you've seen his face in the meat market, and you've seen his face in court, um, but you haven't seen his face in an alley, and you haven't seen his face other places, and you, you get that up here, right? Yes, sir. But it's still emotional down here. Yes, um, Tell me what you're thinking and feeling right now. I just, I just hate that you had to go through something like this. I hate that I had to go through something like this because of this situation. And I hope and pray that we both can get closure in this. What, what do you think about what Dean had to say? He hates that for you. What do you want to say about that, Dean? Yeah, I, I hate you had to go through something like that. I hate now that you have children, that your kids have to go through something like that. And I hope and pray each day that you can get closure. And this day, I accept your apologies. What's the hardest thing about this right now, Loretta? Being here next to him. What makes that hard? Because I feel ashamed. I feel like I did something wrong. Have you accepted I'm sorry that you lost him. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I just wanted to tell the truth. I'm so sorry. That man did 14 years in jail. 14 years in jail. She derailed his life. And she got on there and she was scared. She was scared. She felt like she did something wrong. And he had to be on there and he had to be understanding and compassionate of her pain and what she went through fuck what he went through nah fuck out of that because at the end of the day the justice system failed her and him but he cannot even say what he went through and his trauma and now he's being labeled even though he's been cleared he is being labeled And it's fucked up. I feel like when shit like that goes down. And it's, and they find out like the person has not committed the crime. Whoever the accuser is. They should go away for however long that person went away for. 
so they can know what it's like to lose their life. And then y'all want to be like, oh, well, she went through trauma. He did too at this point because he was wrongly ac accused of a crime he did not commit. It derailed his life. And the time is the only thing you can't get back. Then she got to get on here on, on Dr. Phil and she got to cry and whine and, and do all of that bullshit. Like at the end of the day, no, I don't have no compassion. And y'all could be like, well, you never been in that situation before. I have been in that situation. I have. Most certainly have. And I was never confused about who did what to me. I wasn't lying about who did what to me. But to send a man away because he may have similar um, traits or he may have looked like, no, that's not okay. That's not okay. And for the justice system, for you to abuse and weaponize the, just, the justice system like that, um, shame on them for allowing you to do that. And that's just me keeping it TikTok friendly. But yeah, I don't agree with that. It's a lot of men right now that is incarcerated that should not be. And now, like, if you live in states like Louisiana, Florida, um, Texas, they, they castrate you. Depending on what how old you are and how the person is you do a crime against, if they're a child or not. So just imagine if this happened and she was a child. What you gonna say? Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. The fuck no. No. That's not okay. Yeah, I'm just over it. Yeah, no. That was not... Fuck. Don't nobody want your sorry ass apology? Can I get my life back? The fuck? 